Hello and welcome back to the channel, I'm KG and if you're new here, I'm a customizer and I like to make all kinds of nerdy things. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made my Aaron Davis style prowler. Alright, let's get into this. <laughs> Been wanting to make an Aaron Davis style prowler for a while now and I was going through my box and I found this paladin not a big fan of this character I was thinking it'd, be, it'd work really well as a prowler I think so I'm just gonna start Does that fit? Oh yeah that fits Oh wow that looks that looks cool already Oh yes, I think, I think that's going to work out really well. Jumping on Google, just trying to get a bit of inspiration of how I want mine to look. And I'm leaning towards the PlayStation version of the character as he is very tactical and that's how I want mine to look. So it's not going to be exactly the same, but I'm going to get some inspiration from it for sure. Found a few extra little bits, uh, like machiney bits that I think gonna work well so i'm gonna have like something like that on the arm uh now prowler doesn't have a gun so i'm thinking of cutting this up and doing something on the chest plate that's gonna go around there like so yeah i think that looks pretty cool to be honest Took a little bit more work than I thought it would, but that's definitely what I was going for. And it's fitting now as well. I think that looks good. So I just need to do the same now with the other one, and then that'll be good to glue on. I roughed up the shoulder a little bit just to help with the adhesion. Adhesion. Hadouken. <laughs> I'm gonna f do what I'm saying. Okay. Still a bit wet, but I really like that. This is what I was going for. I like how it looks. Definitely like how it looks. Now to just glue on the straps. Now I'm just working out where to drill for the K peg. nicely done just sanding the whole body now getting it ready for paint now for the prowler emblem itself i've cheated a little bit i've printed off the playstation version which i'm going to use as my template shot on it let's just see if it's worked or if it's backfired <laughs> uh, if it's not worked i will just do it by hand i think um yeah let's just have a look okay okay not bad not bad i can see it that's what i wanted okay Okay, that looks sweet. That's not bad at all, that actually. I break out the air gun so I can paint these black. Uh, these are going to be purple, the arms. Maybe two tones, maybe a bit purple, but yeah. So I'll break out the air gun and get them done.
All right, it's me, Scout Spider-Man, but you can call me Spider-Lid. I'm here to talk about the sponsor of today's video, KG. That's right, the sad gets sponsored in his own video. But if you're a fan of all sorts of nerdy things, then you're in the right place. And I would definitely recommend subscribing to help KG out so he can make more nerdy things for you to enjoy. Right, that's me done. I'm going to finish me cup and head back to me bed, Stacey Jane's, in a bit, lads. Coming in with some black now and a finer shape. I'm going to try and make a green now that sort of resembles this green, which is going to go on the figure. I absolutely hate doing line work, but I'm stepping out of my comfort zone as I do want to get better at it. Not too bad, actually. Not a big fan of the yellow that I chose for the emblem, but I will sort that out later on. Now to mix up a purple for the shoulder, knee and shin pads. This ends up being a little bit more blue than I'd like, but it works. I'm going to take some silver to hit the trim pieces and I'm going to create some weathering as well. Coming back in with some black to clean up some of the lines. I'm now using my air gun with a bit of white to try and make the emblem look as though it's glowing. I'm actually quite happy with that. I think now that that's all done, everything's a bit, I know it's messier, but cleaner in a sense. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with some matte varnish. This is new stuff. Uh, never really used any of the airbrush matte varnish, but we'll give it a go. The figure is pretty much done. I've already got like, an alternate head. Here you go, I've got a few heads, got all those little bitties. But if you're a fan of my content, you'll know that I love using UV resin in my projects. And this isn't going to be any different. Thinking of making the emblem, the Prowler emblem, glossy using some UV resin. So I need a lid. Pour a little UV res out. Move everything to the side. Get me pointy ends. Just like that a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Now all that's left to do is put the figure together and let's get some shots of this thing.
So that's it for this video. Really happy with how he turned out, but let me know what you think down in the comments. If you want to see more from me, then please show your support by liking this video, sharing with your family and friends, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. You can also find me over on Instagram at KG Customs and over on TikTok at KG Customs 91. Thanks again, and no matter where you are in the world, I hope you have an amazing day, and always remember to stay nerdy. I'll see you in the next one.